Yo, what up? It's Boom 1039 Persian Nicole here. Of course, that Boom Philly morning flow. We are live right now from a class of 2018. So how did it feel, you know, hitting the stage here? Uh, you know, there's a lot of graduates here, people are accomplishing big things. What was it feeling out there? It was dope, man. Um, especially, you know, because it was a lot of girls out there. So I like to um get the girls involved now because, you know, I, I, I do mostly gangster rap. So. Yes. It was good to see a couple girls move into my songs, you know what I'm saying? They was more than moving. They was, like, seeing the lyrics and everything. Yeah, it was a couple of them, yeah. Yeah, that it was, was a couple of them, yeah. So let's talk about this, because I felt like Atlanta has been on the map for a long time as far as music, you know? I mean, they, the trap music has been doing it. I feel like you can bring and you have brought New York rap back. I mean, I think New York rap has kind of been pushed aside a little bit. I mean, it's, it was dominating things for the longest time, right? We had some big people, and then Atlanta kind of took over. So what do you think about New York rap? Do you think it's coming back? Yeah, I definitely think it's coming back. It's, it's definitely on blogs and the topic that comes up on the Internet daily now more than ever. Definitely. Yeah. So let's talk about Takashi 6 9 he says he's the king of New York. Yeah, you know, it's so crazy. I think no one can ever just be just everybody just rocking out. Everybody's just doing music. Somebody always has to be the queen or the king from Nicki Minaj to Cardi B to Jakarta to uh, 6 9 to whoever. What do you think about what he says? Um, I think uh you should be you should you should uh put yourself on a pedestal. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should feel like they're the king of New York. Me, you know, I feel like Biggie's the king, you know what I'm saying? Because I I guess I, I took myself out the rapper element and just thought about it before I was rapping. But um, I guess, you know, everybody to each his own. That's how, how you want to put it, to each his own. So since everybody should put themselves on a pedestal, what would you consider yourself to be? Um, uh, I don't know. Big up yourself. You cast it. I don't know. I just, I feel like, I feel like I'm the underdog. I feel like I, I'm for the streets. I think I get more love in the streets than the industry. But I like it because like, the streets is like real genuine love. Yes. The industry switch up. The industry is like uh, crackheads. You got to have like, <laughs> you got to have like, you got to have new work. And once you run out of work, it's on to the next. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to never have no loyal customers selling drugs. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you got a bad batch, it's, it's over. You know what I'm saying? We see it daily. We see it with Meek. We seen it with uh, a couple dope artists that the industry shift, then as soon as you come back with that crack, they're right back on it again, you know what I'm saying? So I just look at it like I'm a force to be reckoned with in my own lane. That's how I feel. Speaking of Meek, you know, uh, you have been in the system. You know, you've been like, locked up. You know, Meek, his situations, I feel like, wasn't fair. A lot of other people feel like it wasn't fair. They had rallies and everything. What do you think about the justice system now? What do you think needs to change? Everything needs to change about it, I think. I think they should they should stop locking us up for petty, petty stuff, man. You know, give give a dude a ticket or something like that. Especially for Willie and the bike, he was on he was on um, papers and I was on papers for a long time. And just like he said, I saw him say it um, the other day. Anything, any police contact, you go to jail for a long time, and that shouldn't be right. You know what I'm saying? They should take that away. Like especially for people on parole, it's like. You can't even get stopped because if you get stopped, they they allowed to give you a, a certain amount of years for anything. A lot of people come in contact with police, rich people, poor people, right people, wrong people. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, that's that was crazy, and and he free now, so that's a blessing. That's dope. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, Boom Water Three Nine Class of 2018, Phil Moore, Persian Nicole, Boom Philly Morning Flow. Where can everybody follow you? Because yo, you a hilarious. Yo, yo. <laughs> It's killing me. What? That's dope. You like you turn it off and on? I should go on the booth? Yeah. Are you going to put me on the record? I'll put you on the record. I'll put you because it's going to get played on the boom. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it get played on the boom, we lit. Yeah. I don't got to boom, 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 nothing. We lit. All right. We in there. All right. You heard that. I want my coins, too. Yeah. I'm going to give you a coin. I'll give you like 5% of the record. We good? 5.5. I'm with that. I'm with that. All right, then. Yeah, Casanova is here.